Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to be doing the pivot lock. It's uh, chapter six, exercise six. So uh, this one's a little bit more detailed, but uh, we're just going to break it up into chunks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this entire base piece here, uh, extrude at the 0.25 inches. Then I'm going to draw this second piece here and extrude all of this up 0.5 inches. Then I'm going to draw this circle and extrude cut it. And then I'm going to draw this circle and extrude it up. And that's it for this one. So I've got it drawn right here. So you can see the different pieces of it. So we're just going to build it in three different sections. So let's go on ahead and start our new part. We are in inches and we're going to go to sketch and do the top plane. So what I am going to do is I'm going to draw two circles. They both are radius of one, so diameter of two. Can make these equal and only have the dimension one. And then we're gonna connect these midpoints here with a line. You can double click off of your line to stop that line and continue drawing a new one, just like that. And then we see that this line here, so the distance between the centers. So it says right here that the circular features in this design are all aligned to the two centers. So this center is going to be the center for this edge, this edge, and this circle. And then the same thing here with these three curves. So we see that this distance here is two inches and that the overall width between the two is We already dimensioned those with the uh, diameter right there of two. We just need to lock it to a origin point now. So now the sketch is fully defined and we can go on ahead and extrude it. Uh, if you don't like having the solid lines inside of your drawing, you can come up here to trim entities, click on power trim, and then make sure that your keep trim lines for construction geometry is clicked. And then you're gonna hold the uh, control key and then you can click and drag and anywhere that this cursor crosses, it will automatically trim this to the next point. So just like that, we've trimmed it. You don't need uh, to do that, but it's a good habit if you're gonna draw it like I just did with lines and sides. Now we can go to extrude and it says it is 0.25 inches thick. Come back to sketch on this top face. And now we're going to do the same thing and we're going to draw this curve, this curve, and then these straight lines that connect them. So we see that this radius is 0 0.75 inches. So we're going to hover over that point again to get the center. And then we're going to do the same thing on this one. Go on ahead and dimension these to 1.5 diameter. And this one as well is 1.5 diameter. And then we're gonna draw once again the straight line there from this top point. You'll know you'll have that top point selected when you see that diamond show up. Come over to the middle, come down some, and click off. And then do the same thing again on this bottom piece. Start at that diamond, come over to the same length that we just drew, and then come up. We can click these two lines and make them equal length. And we're gonna do the same thing here for this line and this line and make them equal length. Now we see that the distance right here between these points it shows is one inch. So we're going to dimension between this point and this point one inch. And because we made these lines equal, this line and this line, we don't have to worry about uh, dimensioning those. So now we're going to draw these straight lines that come straight across starting there and that intersect with the circle. You can double click to get off it and then click to start the line and then come over here again to intersect.
and now we need one more dimension to get these distances into place and we see that it is 1.5 inches off of the center of this circle so click on this center here and one of those two lines 1.5 and then now the sketch is fully defined so what we can do now is once again do the trim if you want to um, we're, so we're going to hold control key and just drag over these to make the inside fit better with the drawing and we are missing oops undo that I accidentally trimmed the wrong one so we're going to come back to trim and then we're going to click on this part right there there we go and then we're going to go to extrude boss base again and then as you can see so because we trimmed these lines it'll automatically select this as the extrusion feature if you don't trim those lines you'll have to click on the inside of each one of those areas that you're trying to extrude and then we see that this thickness is 0.5 inches we can come sketch on this top face we're going to cut this circle through so once again highlight the edge and click on the center and it is one inch in diameter extrude cut through everything so through all and then one more time come to this face to sketch draw another circle and we're going to do this little stub piece that comes up so highlight the edge again get the middle and we see that this dimension is 0 0.5 click the check mark come to extrude and we see that this one is 0.25 inches thick and that is it for the pivot lock comment if you have any questions